So it's the middle of the day and the lights are out on the new tank. And the reason why is I'm in the middle of a two to three day blackout due to dinos. Yes, the dreaded dinos. Oy. I was not expecting to get have that with this new tank. I started this new tank with live rock. So I figured I'd have the biodiversity. There is no sand in this tank. So maybe that factors into the equation. I ran into this issue with my 187 gallon tank a few years ago. I tried a whole bunch of things. The corals were just so stressed out. That tank was started with dry rock. I decided to reboot that tank and use live rock along with live sand. And that tank has been flourishing ever since. This tank is only seven months old, so I guess it's still going through some growing pains. Really what happened a couple of weeks ago is my nutrients bottomed out. As much as I you know, tried not to have that happen, they did the nitrates and the phosphates went down to zero for a couple of weeks. And what, what, I, what I did was I, I, I increased the feedings in the tank to try to combat that. So I fed the fish a lot more. I also have a few corals in this tank, some frags, and a couple of LPS colonies. So I added some coral food, really, really up the feedings a lot. And that's when I noticed the dinos. And that actually happened with the 187 gallon tank. That's when I noticed the, uh, the dino outbreak is when I started dosing amino acids and, and some other um, coral food. I don't know what, what that, what that uh, if there's any parallels there, if that's an indication, but maybe it's an instability. Maybe it was because I had zero nitrates and phosphates in this tank and I just started feeding a lot more to increase the nitrates and the phosphates, that something happened. There was an unbalanced impact and the dinos just took advantage of that and took over the tank. But it got really bad, so I had to do something. And the plan is to do a two to three day blackout and I wanna be able to do that because these uh, dinos are photosynthetic That'll certainly stop them from growing, but it will also cause them to go into the water column. I have a uh, microscope and I believe I ID'd the type of dinos that will uh, go into the water column when the lights are out, which is key if you have a UV sterilizer, which I'll talk about in a minute. But anyway, what I wanted to do was I, I stopped, you know, overfeeding the fish and dosing the coral foods and I started dosing nitrates and phosphates. I know you can increase the nitrates and phosphates by just feeding the fish a lot more, but I feel like I have more control by doing precise dosing. So at this point, my nitrates and phosphates are at levels that I'm happy with. My nitrates are between five to 10 parts per million and the phosphates are around 0.1 parts per million. So let me uh, go into the sump room and I will show you the main device that I'm going to use to attack these buggers. So this is an Aqua UV 57 watt UV sterilizer and my hope in conjunction with the blackout is to be able to zap those guys and I've got the pump in the uh, skimmer compartment the sump right here as you can see I've got a valve on in case I um, decide to crank back on the flow but right now it's probably pumping at about I don't know, 1,000 gallons per hour, which is the minimum that is required for this UV sterilizer to zap organisms like dinos. So I'll, um, I'll throttle it back even more if it doesn't seem to be working because I've read that the dinos, um, you know, if you're using UV sterilizer, that the lower the flow, the better. But I don't want to go below the uh, manufacturer's recommendations right now. I'm just afraid about burning the, uh, the bulb. Anyway, so, you know, I mentioned that the pump drawing the water is in the main um, skimmer compartment. The output for the UV is going into the uh, couple of compartments downstream of that, into the bathroom where I have the, uh, the heater. So that should be good, right? You don't want to have the output going into the same compartment there you're drawing the input. You want to have it downstream. So I believe that's a good um, setup, a good solid setup in terms of the UV. So that is the plan of attack. What I also did was I siphoned out a lot of the dinos in the tank, 
good thing is that it this is a bare bottom tank so it was very easy to get them off of the uh, the bottom part of the tank and the glass I also siphoned them off of the rocks and blew them off with a, a turkey baser as well to get them into the water column to help the UV sterilizer along in its um, quest to zap all of them so that is it I will um, keep you folks updated and I would love to hear your comments so please chime in if you have any um, feedback or advice in terms of my battle with dinos well many thanks for watching and if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already i'll put links to marine depot and reef bomb in the video description below see you next time